good morning to all in this session we'll see about the capital structure before we go into the topic we'll see the functions of finance manager the finance manager have several roles to play but the important three decision he has to take that is the financing decision investment decision and dividend decision the financing decision is nothing but from where to raise the fund and investment decision where to invest the fund which is raised and next the dividend decision how much profit is to be retained and how much is to be paid to the shareholders as dividend that is dividend decision in this chapter this financing decision plays a role in deciding the capital structure so now we'll see about the financing decision financing decision is nothing but the amount of finance raised by way of various sources of fund say for example if anyone wants to do a business the this three questions will come to their mind that is first one how much to raise and the second one is from where to raise and the third question in what proportion that is for the first question how much to raise is the fund required for doing the business and the second question from where that is whether we can raise the source by way of long term source or by way of short term or by way of medium term that is the second question and the third one is what proportion this is this capital structure what is the proportion of debt and what is the proportion of equity this three questions will come to any person who wants to do the business normally the fund required uh, will be raised from the long term source and now we'll see about this long term source here the long term source of finance is basically classified into debt and equity here the debt means it can be a loan borrowed from financial institution or from any bank and it can be out of the debentures or bonds issued by the company and uh, the equity here is is the equity shares or uh, the retained earnings that is the reserves and surplus maintained by the company or the third one is preference preference also is considered as a equity here okay the basic classification of this capital structure is debt and equity now we'll see the definition of capital structure according to im pande capital structure refers to the composition of long term sources of funds such as debentures long term debt preference share capital and ordinary share capital including reserves and surplus that is the capital structure is nothing but it is the combination of various long term sources the long term sources here is it can be a debenture it can be a debt that is the loan borrowed or it can be a preference share or it can be ordinary share ordinary share is nothing but the equity shares and it also includes the reserves and surplus uh, which is the retained earnings of the firm i will explain this capital structure with small example you can understand it better the x firm wants to raise 1 lakh it has 50000 equity share capital and 10000 retained earnings 10000 preference share capital 15000 loans from financial institution and 15000 debentures okay now we'll find out the capital structure for this problem okay here the firm is having 50000 equity share capital so it is 50% of the capital required that is the capital required here is 
1 lakh and equity share capital is 50,000 so 50 percent is equity and uh, next retained earnings it has 10,000 so 10,000 by this 1 lakh is 10 percent and uh, preference share capital again 10,000 here so preference share capital is also 10 percent here and uh, the loans from financial institution is 15,000 so it is 15,000 by 1 lakh is 15 percent and the debenture is also 15,000 so 15,000 by 1 lakh again 15 percent so we have to find out what is the debt and equity proportion here so this three that is the equity retained earnings and preference share capital is the equity here so 50 plus 10 plus 10 is 70 percent is equity content and the 15 plus this 15 that is 30 percent is debt proportion so that the debt and equity ratio is 30 is to 70 the debt is nothing but the borrowed fund that is it is from outsiders fund and the equity fund is nothing but the owners fund that is the internal source now we'll see about the pattern of capital structure basically there are four basic patterns to this capital structure they are equity share capital only that is it includes reserves and surplus only the equity shares including reserves and surplus and the second one is equity share capital and preference share capital that is the funds can be raised by way of equity share capital as well as the preference share capital and the third one is equity preference and the debt that is it can be out of equity share capital it can be out of preference share capital and uh, the debt that is it can be out of the debentures or uh, bond anything like that it, it can also be loan and the fourth one is equity share capital and debt that is it can raise the fund by issuing e equity share capital and as well as through debt it can raise the fund so these are the basic four patterns of capital structure a company wants to raise i'll repeat first one it can be out of equity share capital that is only by way of issuing shares the company can raise the fund and uh, the second one equity share capital and preference share the company can raise by way of issuing equity shares as well as issuing preference shares and the next one is equity preference and debt that is it can be the proportion of equity some proportion of preference share and uh, it can be debt too and the last one is equity share capital and long term debt that is the firm can raise by issuing equity shares or by borrowing the money by way of loan or through debentures i'll explain this pattern of capital structure with small example a firm wants to raise rupees 1 lakh we'll see the pattern the first pattern is equity share capital only so in this first pattern the firm will issue only the equity shares worth rupees 1 lakh and the second pattern is equity share capital and preference share capital so here the firm can issue equity share capital for uh, 60,000 and preference share capital for 40,000 and the third pattern is equity share capital preference share capital and debt so the firm can issue equity shares for 50,000 preference shares for 30,000 and for debt 20,000 and the fourth pattern is equity share capital and debt so the firm 
has to issue equity shares for 80,000 and debt for 20,000. So these are the four pattern of financing. Now we will see about the optimum capital structure. The optimum capital structure is nothing but it is the capital structure when the firm has a combination of equity and debt which gives maximum wealth to the shareholders. That is in that combination of debt and equity mix the earning per share will be the highest and on the other hand the cost of capital will be lower. In simple words the optimum capital structure is nothing but the capital structure which gives the maximum benefit for the shareholder that is the earnings for the investment will be higher in that combination of debt and equity mix. I hope now you are clear about this capital structure. In our next video we will see the format of this EBIT and EPS analysis. Thank you for your patient listening.